Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful with this. <laughs> you can't be canceled if you don't quit. Right. You can't. It's like, yeah, you can't cancel me. You never supported the pilot. Um, <laughs> so, um, because white man got when he ended up in the hospital, people were immediately blaming his his uh, manga class schedule for that. That's mm. like, oh, you work too hard and this that and the other thing. And he had to come out after surgery, going, guys, I blew my knee out playing soccer. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, and mind you, this is a guy when he made his video on how he did 150 pages in 60 days or something crazy like that. The first thing he says that he has a shit ton of assistance. So mm. yeah, let's let's calm down with that, right? So um, so what happened was that so Ian McKinty passed. All of these Twitter artists started latching on to that, and the hashtag Comics Broke Me started happening. So Comics Broke Me is a hashtag where everyone is talking about how uh, these companies are incredibly exploitative. They, they they were making people do work for $20 a page. You had to finish a 200 page book in a weekend and, and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like, oh, it's like you're getting paid $20 a page to do, uh, you know, a 21 page comic in a weekend or to finish a, tw a 200 page graphic novel in a week. Um, like people literally ended up with blown out wrists or, or shoulder problems. I mean, they ended up in the hospital due to stress. They were literally editors who would who would outright refuse to grant extensions because people had to go to funerals i i mean pretty much you know asshole bosses are asshole bosses no matter what industry you work in um but here's the thing though right so everybody was talking about how exploitative these these companies are and it's like i go okay um when wasn't that the case you know, I mean, it's like mainstream comic book companies have been exploitative since inception. We all know the stories, right. legendary stories. I mean, honestly, the Heroes Initiative pretty much exists for that reason, um, just to pretty much assuage the guilt of these companies for fucking these artists to begin with. But the irony being is that they would rather, they would rather, these, these companies would rather fund a fucking charity than actually do right with these artists they're fucking over. So, you know, it's like, like, like carbon offsets, you know, it's like, yeah, we know you, we fucked you over, but here's a little money, you know, through a charity that's, that's, that we're writing off as a tax deduction. Here's a little bit for you so you can go to the supermarket, you know? So, yeah. um, so this has always been the case, you know, I'm not saying it's right. OK, that's the thing. I'm just saying that this hasn't changed for decades. All right. And there were people who were talking about they took uh, they, they took a job because it felt like it had a lot of potential and it went sideways really, really quickly. One woman, she had an editor disappear on her. She had a, she had a deadline for a year to do a 200 page graphic novel. The editor disappeared for more than six months. And then when she finally reappeared with no instruction because she told her, well, your layouts were rejected. You have to do the book over again but now you have three months to finish it not a year and she had to sue to keep the i mean it, it was a mess it was messy okay um but what this particular artist learned is that fuck it i'm never going to work with a company again i'm going to go into indie comics and i'm going to and all my efforts going to be my own so that's what she did hey um, but there's story after story after story of everyone going, oh, they only pay this. They only pay that. I had to take a $25 a page job. They only paid me $10 a page to color a graphic huh. novel that, uh, you know, From what people were saying on Twitter, it seems artists are getting paid less yes. at Marvel and DC than it they are. Yeah, Some, they are. are. Some of them are. Right? Absolutely. But here's the thing though. Indie, uh, indie publishers are not off the hook because one of the major complaints that I always also was seeing was about an indie publisher who likes to like proclaim themselves an indie darling because of their inclusiveness and shit. And they're ripping off artists just as much as, as Marvel and DC. So your mileage will definitely vary. Oh, but here's the thing. Okay. Now, now here's the thing that I was getting out of it. 
Um, it's one thing you get that first deal that that it's one thing to get that first deal that maybe goes sideways. Maybe it happens a second time. You go to another company, it's like, ah, oh, shit, it's happening again. Okay. At what point do you realize that you might have to rethink your career choice if every company is fucking you? Hmm. If every company in this industry is fucking you, at what point do you decide, you know, my ass, I'm tired of my ass hurting. <laughs> or some people like it, but, you know, you know, hey. you know, I mean, at what point, at what point do you make a decision that maybe working for these companies is not worth the effort? Your blow, you know, you're getting paid $25 a page for a schedule that's going to destroy your wrist, that's going to give you carpal tunnel, that's going to cause you pain. At what point do you say this is unsustainable? Again, I'm not saying that these companies, oh, I know, I know. It was just like everybody just wanted to lie down and go, oh, I'm a helpless baby and everything has to change around me. I had no choice but to accept $20 a page from IDW. Really? Really, you had absolutely no choice. I mean, I mean, I'm looking at what these people are making and it's like, Jesus Christ, you could be a barista at fucking Starbucks and do comics on the side and make more money with less stress. And get free coffee. Yeah, you know, than, than working for one of these companies. Are you sure you didn't have a choice? Because here's the thing, because I made that choice very early on very early on. I mean, I've worked for other companies. It was cool experience. I remember it being very pleasant until the editor, until the editor ran off with the entire budget of our books and got us all fired because of that. But Hey, that's, uh, that's you know, there you go. Um, but in the end, it's like, you know what? I have no interest in working for these companies. I have no interest in working on other people's projects. Why do I want to put my effort into somebody else's work when I have so many, so many ideas of my own that I could work on? So it's like, so that's what I did. I mean, granted, I had to work a straight job to get it done. I had to work at a print company that had nothing to do with comics to do it. But here I am 30 something years later, still doing comics. My wrists are fine ish <laughs> you know i mean because you know what it is when my wrists start acting up i stop working you know it's like there's nothing forcing me to have to push through that pain i don't have to push through that pain you know so yeah and it's like and now and it's like and even while i was working I made the decision while I was working that I was going to try to, to, to make decisions about my finances so that no boss can hang, can, can, can like kind of hang my job over my head either. So I made a lot of decisions that led me to this point. Right. You know, so it's like, no, I don't have to take a $10 a page job. I don't have to take $25. I don't, I don't, I don't have to work. I don't look at other publishers because I don't have to be there. It's irrelevant to me. The, hmm. all my effort that I put in comics belongs to me, goes to me, goes in my work. Anything I build, anything I study is to benefit me. You know, when Tyler says buy these books to help you point you in the right direction, I bought those books not to help another company, you know, build an audience, but to help me build an audience. You know, I mean, that doesn't mean that I might not have to go work again. Mm. But when it comes to my artwork, when it comes to my comics, that's my effort. That belongs to me. No company can pay me enough for the amount of work that I do on my own stuff. Mm. You know, again, decisions, oh, you know, shit. you know, right. Exactly. 